Hey there YouTube, it's Aisha and this is a library slash library book sale haul. So this is my end of year book haul. It's the end of 2016 and I'm hauling the things that I picked up at my local library, um, both to borrow and then I'm going to show you the books that I've bought. So the borrowed books are as followed. The On Quiet by J.D. Robb. Um, there's a whole bunch of other authors in this anthology, but I'm really picking it up for the J.D. Robb addition to the In Death series. So a novella is in here, and I'm going to read that. Same thing for this. Sweet 606, J.D. Robb, um, has a In Death novella in here, so I'm reading it strictly for that. Sorry to the other authors. I'm, normally I read an entire anthology. Right now I'm just looking for the In Death series pieces. Next, I picked up a Brenda Jackson novel, and this one is called Hot Westmoreland Nights. So this one is book 20, 19 or 20 in the Westmoreland series. And I know I said I was going to try to read them in order, but pretty much I'm just trying to, wherever I find them, I'm snagging them to read them. Then I picked up two books in the Laura Lay series. Um, I was going to try to read the series in order, however, I don't have the books in order. The books that I do own are not in order. <laughs> I have one or two that are back to back and then the rest is like way down the bottom of the line. So I figured why not just go ahead and read. It would be nice to read in order, but I'm going to have to skip stories anyway because they're unavailable. So since they're unavailable and I can't get them from the library, I can't buy them online, I can't borrow them online. I'm going to go ahead and just read the books, however. Um, I'm going to try to stay as close to order as possible, but in the meantime, I picked up Navarro's Promise. This is a novel of the breeds. I don't know where this one is in the line. And this one's Law's Justice, another novel of the breeds. So those two, I don't know where they are in the line, but I'm going to read them. And then... Maya Banks, Coulter's Daughter. This is the only book in the Coulter series that I have not read. I own it as an ebook, but I figured having the physical book in my hand might make me read it more. And I was so excited to see it at the library. I was like, oh, I'm definitely picking that up. So this is another book borrowed and uh, I'm going to read. So I'm probably going to do what I do when I have an e arc as well as a physical arc. Just read the e arc when I'm at work <laughs> and because um, I don't want to carry the physical book and read the physical book when I'm at home or where I am somewhere I can sit with it. So those are the two, four, six that I borrowed from the library and are due back. Um, but I can renew so I have a while before I need to. I picked up at the library today quite a few on um, nonfiction books. Um, that I had on my list and I'm like, oh my god, I can get them here. Instead of borrowing them, I just bought them from the library bookstore. And then um, there's a few that were on my list as books to read um, and I just didn't have them. So I picked up Pretty Baby by Mary Kubica. Um, I have her first book, The Good Girl, and I understand that she's a really good thriller writer. So another addition to my list of genres that I don't read too often, and that's thrillers. And I, a woman, and this is by um, Ilona, I don't know how to say the last name. And this is classic poetry by women from around the world. And I picked it up because Ain't I, a woman is an African-American poem, and it was said as the, um, it's by Sojourner Truth, and it was said at the, uh, Seneca Falls, women's, the launch of women, the feminist movement. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. And it looks like a lot of native and um, non-English speaking women wrote poems in here. So I thought this would be something I could pick up and just read through. Um, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on here, but I am a woman's studies minor. Not really. <laughs> it's probably why I have so many women on my shelves. Um, but yeah, I am a women's study minor and I really love seeing books by women and about women. And, um, I was really excited when I saw this section, they had an entire women's study section. If I could have, I would have bought the entire section. Um, 
So I only have two nonfiction books, so I thought I'd share those next. So I have The Rosie Effect by Grimmie Simpson, or Graham Simpson, Graham Simpson? I don't think anyone's ever figured out how to say his name or her name. Um, but I do have a Rosie project. It's his name. And I thought, why not pick up the Rosie effect? A lot of people raved about the Rosie project. And um, there was like a quiet murmur <laughs> when the Rosie effect came out. So I thought, why not pick it up? See what, you know, I like to go straight through. And I mean, it was 50 cents, so I can't, can't go wrong. The next was C.E. Murphy's Urban Shaman. This story sounds so good. I was like, this sounds like something right up my alley. Joanne Walker has three days to begin to learn to use her shamanic powers and save the world from the unleashed wild hunt. That right there, I was like, I'm here. A shaman and the wild hunt, I'm so there. Everything else can come after. Then she says, no worries, no pressure. Never mind the lack of sleep. The perplexing new talent for healing herself from fatal wounds or the cryptic talking coyote who appears in her dreams. And if that's not bad enough, in the three years Joanne's been a cop, she's never seen a dead body, but she's just come across her second in three days. It's been a bitch of a week, and it isn't even over yet. So <laughs> I was like, yes, I'll take that. Why, yes. So I've never read anything by C.E. Murphy that I know of, and Urban Shaman sounded like something pretty cool. Um... I didn't even really notice pictures, but I just heard Wild Hunt, and I was here for it. For those of you who don't know, the Wild Hunt is a tale from the fair, fairy tales. Um, it is not something you want to get caught in. Um, <laughs> so I was like, yes, I want that. Um, the next one is a actual brand new spanking book, because um, they get donations from Barnes & Nobles quite often, because it's right up the street from them. So it's Smart Women Finish Rich by David Buck. Um, and he's been well known for his smart dad, rich dad, smart son, something like that, right? And then there's like the automatic millionaire. He's very well known. His books are very well known. So I thought, you know, I really want to, I'm good at financial fitness. <laughs> I need to get better. So vary the reading, vary the people that I listen to. The Daring Female's Guide to Ecstatic Living. I had once borrowed this from the library and really hated bringing it back. I really enjoyed some of the things that were in there. And I thought I'd pick it up and you know, go through it again. I did a lot of these books when I was in my 20s. And probably why I had such a raucous 20s. <laughs> a lot of fun in my 20s. And during high, in college. Because I did a lot of these books like this. So I just thought, you know, I'm in my 30s now. Why not? have even more fun. Um, this one is also, this one's not a book that I thought I'd pick up, but I, as I said, Women's Studies Minor. I went ahead and picked up Odd Girl Out, The Hidden Culture of Aggression in Girls by Rachel Simmons. And this is basically talking about women bullying each other. Um, I work in a predominantly female field, nursing and healthcare. Um, and the nursing aspect of healthcare, whether it's the front staff or the LPNs, the CNAs, the home health aides, are predominantly female. Phlebotomists, predominantly female. The medicine aspect of it is predominantly male, even though that's changing as we go. But even within such a strong field where women are the majority, there's a lot of bullying. There is a there's a comment about um, there's a, it's a joke, and but it's a sad statement of fact that nurses eat their young. Like, older nurses are very mean and very um, aggressive to younger nurses coming in. So I thought this was pretty interesting to pick up and read Odd Girl Out, talking about female bullying and um, kind of why that happens, how it happens, the subtility of it. Um and the full-on bruntness of it and how people act like girls are so dainty and therefore can't be part of bullying, even though women bully each other. Even beyond high school and college, women bully each other still. So I thought this was pretty interesting to pick up and check out. And it's a brand spanking new book that I got for $1.25. And then this one is my most 
<laughs> ecstatic find. And this is the Eat Clean Diet Recharged um, by Tuscarino. I did this diet many, many years ago, and I lost a lot of weight. I did it in my last two years of college, and I lost a lot of weight, and then I kind of stopped paying attention. I do still follow a lot of her tenants, but I haven't really paid attention and done it the way I was supposed to. And because of that, I gained weight back. So I saw that this book had been published where she updated the diet plan and how to do it and the advice. Because as the years go on, you learn more about nutrition, um, being a wellness management minor, wellness management major. <laughs> Only I would follow my own advice. Um, <laughs> uh, so it's, it's pretty... I really enjoy the the community she's created around clean eating, the magazines, the clean eating magazine, oxygen magazine, going on her clean eating website. So I want to reread these for the new year, and that's the goal is to follow this plan. Um, so this will be on my vlog channel quite a bit, and I'll be doing reviews of these as well. Not just as a reader, but as someone who is in the wellness management field. And whether or not we, because um, I did a lot of nutrition classes as well, so doing this as well. So those are the last of the books that I picked up. I do have a part two to this that will probably end up being in January because books are on sale. And <laughs> but yeah, so these are the final book haul for 2016. And then my Christmas books and all the books packages that are coming after will be in 2017, January, first part of all. So, books that I'm keeping. Books that must be returned to the library. <laughs> they must go back. Say it with me, Aisha. They must go back. No fines. Can't promise that part. <laughs> I'll probably forget to renew them. I hate returning, but that's why I don't borrow. Like, I love my library because they have such an extensive collection. But I hate the library because I always... I don't want to let the books go, so I never want to return them. So I end up with fines. and Yeah. <laughs> Probably should, it would be easier a lot of the times to just buy my own, which is why I do that. But I love the library. Um, but that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Happy 2017.